part of the video. I'm just showing you everything I'm going to be using. From cotton balls to giant water jugs, water bottles, Christmas lights, 100 pack, hot glue gun, glue sticks, and I have four packs of 400 count cotton balls, four packs of 30 count glue sticks, two packs of 100 count clear Christmas lights, two jugs, and two bottles. So, let me get started. <laughs> there I am again, and I'm going to be unpackaging the hot glue gun. I could not get a clear shot of all the sounds I'm doing because it would be a safety hazard for my microphone if I were to use the hot glue gun near it and there was already a lot of clutter on the table. So I wanted to be safe as possible while still providing you high quality content. So I just decided to do this voiceover. A little bit different than the stuff I normally do, but I'm sure you can still appreciate it. And I've covered the table to protect it with aluminum foil and I've taped it over uh, the corners with aluminum tape to make it sturdy and protect my table from the hot glue gun because it can cause damage on certain countertops. So I'm just pulling out the glue stick, inserting it in the hot glue gun, getting that put together and plugged in, and prepared so it can warm up. And at this part I was confused <laughs> because I was unsure of how much glue I should put in and I didn't realize that you need an extra glue stick. But um, I'm preparing my multitude of cotton balls, and then I have my waters here ready to pour out in the sink. So, <laughs> creating a nice visual of that right now. <laughs> and I was going to go outside and pour them on plants or something. But at the time I was filming this, it was raining. This is the most important part of the process. You want to make sure it just stays in place. And here's me being silly and testing if the hot glue gun is warming up. And this is when I burn my finger. And yeah. <laughs> and again, this is the silly part where I forget that I need another glue stick pushing it. So um, I haven't used a glue just over three years. The last time I did was for a school project. And I 
I've only ever used glue guns twice before. Like I said, once in the 12th grade and once in the 7th grade where I was making a rocket ship. And another time I was making a Japanese lantern with a friend. So, this part is kind of slow, but um, I purposely put together the edits this way so you can get an idea of what I'm doing and how much work it takes to do, but after a few more minutes, I'm going to fast forward some parts and show just quickly overlays of how I'm doing my project. So, I'm finally layering on the glue after it's melted and coming out. It takes a while for the And when you apply the amounts of glue on the bottle, you don't want to apply thin layers and too little of it, more the better in this case. So you want to kind of create a spider web effect with this, where you just twirl the glue in multiple directions, so that there is more area. If you only put uh, one drop of glue, if you're too cheap with it, then the cotton will not hold because it's very stringy and very, very hard to predict um, how it's going to lay flat. So um, you do want to add quite a lot of glue and you're going to find out that I use around 50 glue sticks. So, um, I'm glad I got more product than necessary for this video in terms of glue sticks and cotton balls because I was not sure how much I really needed. And for this project, you may also use even bigger water chunks. Um, however, I, for some reason, could not find any <laughs> in the store. And not only that, but I would need a whole lot more cotton balls and probably glue sticks as well as I use two and a half bags of cotton balls for this and one and a half bags of glue sticks so uh, you can put that into perspective if you use one of those enormous water jugs that are like commercial yeah that would take all day and that would have been torture for me <laughs> So I wanted to create something more miniature, but still look sizable enough and great as a decoration. And for some reason I did want to poke holes at the bottom of the jugs and attach a string through it to hang, but I decided not to just for this video because it's more of a sort of a how-to can always do that on your own terms. Just get some scissors and poke a hole through the bottom of the jug and just attach the string from the bottom to the top and hang it up that way. Uh, but if I do want to hang it, let's say for some videos, I eventually will. Oops, and there I burned my hand again, if you can see. You have to be careful not to squeeze the cotton too And it's not really a burn burn if the glue does happen to land on your skin. It will burn until it cools and then once it cools it just like sticks to your hand and you can peel it off but I don't like to wait for pain so usually what I do is as soon as I feel a burning sensation I pick right at it always be safe and not careless like myself when I do art projects and wear gloves. I'm not wearing any because I don't like the restriction of them and I did feel I was a pro at this even though I definitely am not. <laughs> so I got a little, a little bit um, cocky and I decided not to use any my own safety because it would be more comfortable to uh, pick at the cotton and place it and work the glue gun if I didn't wear any. So that wasn't my own risk. 
end for this, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's me, um, smelling the bad smell of the melting glue. It can get very strong, so you might have to open a window or two. But like I was saying, um, the label of the bottled blue label that you see there, I didn't bother taking it out or didn't actually turn on the lights, it did create a nice blue glow, so it was good that I kept it in. And when you pat down the cotton, you have to make sure that you hold it down around 10 to 15 seconds and do it lightly because, like I said, the glue will travel up the sides of the cotton balls and burn you, so start light, finish heavy, and try to add as much pressure in the beginning because the base has to be strong as possible. really did wish I found multicolored Christmas lights for this because when I went to the store I asked like three different ladies where are the Christmas lights where are the Christmas lights and all of them pretty much laughed at me and pointed me in the wrong direction and I had to walk back and forth and when I finally found some the last lady basically said I mean this is all we have unless it's Christmas so I mean yeah they did find it kind of strange that I'm asking for Christmas lights this time of year, but hey, they don't know it's for a good cause, so <laughs> um, this is me just gluing the top and uh, this part can get a little tricky sometimes because when you're working with different surfaces but I did leave the top open that's where I have to leave the lights through and some of the lights have to be left out at the end so you can plug it in. So that part I didn't bother covering. You can always cover it by adding more cotton balls around it at the end, but I chose not to just for the purpose of this video. And as you see some leftover holes that are missing around, you just fill them in the details at the end. And as you add more texture and cotton balls on top, it'll cover anyway. I just like having a really stable foundation first before adding anything else and moving on. So I'm just doing the bottom here and gluing the edges and then the hole. And this kind of jug can get a little tricky because you want to make it look as much as a cloud as possible where you can't even tell that there's a jug inside. So, I had to do quite some filling in with cotton balls, as you can see, right now. And then I'm just going to add textures and layers upon it. And there's me trying to drink my cotton ball water bottle. <laughs> just being silly again. Alright, so, it looks good as a whole, but not quite as a cloud yet. It looks too too, too much like a jug. <laughs> so, uh, I'm working on that here, fast forwarding the parts where I add surfaces of cotton balls. And for this part, you can be a little bit messier and lenient, but you still want to be good and strong on the glue. Because for the last part, I'm going to use this hairbrush to fluff out the cotton balls so that for this part. It's just adding layers upon layers until it becomes like a cloud. So, I mean a cloud can be anything. It doesn't really have to be any shape or size. It really can be what you feel is right in your artistic mind. So, yeah, it kind of looks like a big marshmallow if you think about it. Like marshmallows upon marshmallows. It's like a crispy cream. this glue because it's clear and it doesn't create a yellow stain after it dries, so it doesn't make the cloud look bad. It just blends in and you can't even tell that there's a bottle or glue or anything like that. And a lot of times 
sometimes the glue can be very stringy and stubborn, so you have to get rid of those too. And here's the hairbrush part, and I'm literally gently fluffing it. And you need a really good brush for this part. It doesn't work with any brush. You need this kind of bristle brush that I have. And I've used these in videos before. Um, it's a good brush. And just gently. adding the hundred lights inside the chalk and you have to really be careful with this um, not force it too much you don't want to actually break the light bulbs um, so uh, and also try not to pull too much on the cotton as well and you have to constantly um, just keep tugging and doing that so uh, and leave of course and layers <laughs> until you can't even tell that there's a bottle and it just looks like a cloud and another thing I found that you can do if you have the time is to stretch out each and every cotton ball and make it even fluffier and one cotton ball actually has a lot of a lot of a square inch space you'd be surprised that's how it looks as a whole as I'm done. And then I just have to layer on the bottom. And then get that done. And then after that, what I'm going to do is get the top cap and close it because I'm not putting any lights in this one. This is just a decoration piece next to the bigger are going to be like a thunderstorm clouds, like one is darker, one is um, being lit up, like almost like in a thunderstorm frozen in time. That's kind of the concept how I want it to look like. So it looks very funny now, but again, I just add cotton balls on top of it. And I try not to make it even. <laughs> There's me beating in the cotton balls. And I was pretty tired at this point, and my back was hurting chugging. <laughs> and I cut out the parts where, okay, yep, there I am again being silly and petting the cotton balls. <laughs> but um, there were, are the parts where I cut out where I had to make another big jug and another little bottle cloud. So um, yeah, it's like double the work. 
self. 